everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you five really quick and easy ways to update your autumn winter makeup. So enjoy! Now these updates shouldn't really require the purchase of any new products, although people do like to treat themselves, so knock yourself out, but they're probably things that you've got in your makeup kit or bag already and are maybe not using through the summer. So the first thing, my first little update is that in the autumn winter I like to take my nail polish darker. Um, I normally wear neutral or nude shades on my nails but going into autumn I like to take them a little bit darker and also I take the actual length of the nail a bit shorter because I think with darker colours shorter nails just look a little bit more neat and chic and sophisticated. So I am wearing Dior's Nuit 1947 could probably do with another coat but I'm too lazy. Second update and you've all probably got one of um, these kind of radiance pens, this is Touche Claire from YSL and it's adding radiance back into the skin so there's a real trend for matte foundation and I'm wearing a matte foundation now. Oh by the way if you want to see a full makeup look of the one that I'm wearing then let me know in the comments below and I shall make that happen. I can put that up as a bonus video next week on Tuesday. So I'm trying to do two videos a week, so do let me know. Anyway, I've put my Touche Claire all the way along my cheekbones, underneath the eyes, a little bit on the eyelids as well, just to kind of get a little bit of a glow back into the skin. So the finish is still matte, but there's that little bit of radiance peeking through. Third little update um, is a kind of a bronzer blusher issue. In the summer I tend to just use bronzers and maybe a little bit of a, a kind of a fun pink or something on the apples of the cheeks. When I go into autumn, I quite like a tawny, warm, like a cross between a bronzer and a blush, really. I really like this one from Max Factor. This is Subtle Amber, but I can never find this. I don't know whether they've discontinued it. I'll have to find out. Um, but a really nice alternative. This one's actually quite a lot warmer, even. It's from Becca, and this is Damselfly. And it's just a really, really warm bronzer. I suppose it's, it's a blush, really. Um, but I like to think of it as somewhere in between and I use it in the same way that I would a bronzer. It just adds a little bit of warmth into the skin. Fourth thing, brows. I don't tend to really do anything with my brows in the summer or the spring. I tend to leave them quite natural. And as I go into autumn, winter, and I maybe take it a little bit darker with my makeup, I quite like to just go through the brows with a bit of a pencil maybe. I mean, it's nothing too dramatic. I'm not a big brow person, but just taking a pencil through there just to, Give them a little bit more definition and then sweeping some gel through. The one that I'm using is um, a two-in-one product from Pixie Natural Brow Duo. And then final update, you can tell this is all about just going slightly darker with the makeup, really I suppose, darker and warmer. The last thing is my lipstick. Now there are loads of lipsticks out there that are just maybe one or two shades darker than your natural lip colour. But this one that I'm wearing is from Erin and it is Madison. And this one is just a tone or two darker than my lips. And I just like the really kind of chic finish. As I said, summer and spring, I tend to have everything quite light and carefree. But autumn, winter, I think that, you know, with heavy knits and stuff that you're wearing and the darker colours, you can go a little bit stronger with your makeup, um, even if you're not really a big makeup person and it doesn't feel too overdone. So those are my five updates. Nice and quick today, um, and let me know if you want the full makeup look next week on Tuesday. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. All the information about the products is below, but as I said, you've probably got similar products in your makeup bag that you haven't used throughout summer. So have a little rootle around and see what you can find, and I shall see you next time.